Welcome to my end game. Awesome. Welcome back everybody. Okay, so in this video today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rejigging that entire server rack. Uh, we're putting in two new servers. Well, one was an older server uh, and the new Filecoin server that we're in the midst of building. It's quite expensive so it's going to take a lot of time. Uh, but what I wanted to do is remove everything from the server rack and put in the heavy hard drive servers at the very bottom because uh, if you have it top heavy then it could tip over. It's not um, drilled into the ground so I wanted to make sure that the heaviest servers were at the bottom. So we remove all the servers and we rejig things and we also repurpose one of my old Chia servers uh, to put it back in there for future proofing because uh, we're going to be adding a bunch of new drives and that's still a good server. Server cases that are for you are still quite expensive. Those are like 400 bucks each. And uh, so I had the old Chia server sitting in the room and I, once I had everything out, I just said, okay, let's put on rails and let's put it back into the server rack. So we install the rails, we put everything up there and I really love the outcome. So stick around cause we're mining again and I'll show you that in another video. All right, so this is the server that we just picked up from Montreal. And it's the exact same server that I have for Chia. So it's got the 20 bays here in the front, and then it's actually got enough room at the top here for an additional four drives. Uh, I'm assuming they, that, well actually I know they have another version of this where the top row here is just an additional drive. So you have uh, six, six, uh, I guess, rows or columns of drives. Uh, in my case, I need to do a little bit of fabrication. So essentially all we do is we drummel this out here, drummel that out, take this off, drummel off the little nubs, take these out. And there's a couple of, uh, behind here, there's a couple of uh, rivets that we have to drill, drill out to make this a flush plane. And then we can put four additional uh, hard drives up here. So that will be a 24 drive bay here. Uh, it's the exact same configuration as the Chia one that I have. Uh, five Molex connectors here, and then the rest are just SATA, SATA pinouts here. This one does come with uh, nice server grade fans, uh, which I'm, I'm, I don't know how those are connected. Oh, I see there's another, there's one more Molex down here. So we need an extra Molex right here to power these fans, which is kind of cool actually. Uh, if you if you watched my previous Chia video, you will notice that I connected these three fans. Uh, they weren't the same fans, but I did connect them through Molex as well. So uh, the first thing we're going to need to do uh, for this one is obviously we'll do the same dremeling out. We'll cut these things off, make it flush here. And then the next thing we have to do is we need to get the power supply for this. And unfortunately, I'm going to be... Uh, swapping out my Chia power supply, which was the 750 watt power supply. I'll be putting that in here because we're gonna need a GPU in here. Uh, we might even need two GPUs. And a 750 watt should be okay for at least one 3070. But uh, for, <clears throat> for my Chia node, I don't need a 750 watt power supply, so I'm gonna replace that with a standard 600 watt power supply that I have. And also, uh, for this, we have to uh, figure out how we're going to mount the rails on here. There are prefab screw holes. So I'm hoping that this, the, this rail kit that I have will line up with these prefab screw holes and we can just toss it in the rack. But all of that to say is we got a new fun project and I have a ton of really cool hardware to pump into here. But first things first, like I always say, uh, we got to get the rack prepared, uh, the server prepared. And that's actually one of the most tedious parts of building the servers, obviously, is 
getting this set to where we can just plug and play drives and we won't have to worry about any of the internals. So, all right, we'll stick around. Uh, tonight I'm going to be removing the power supply from my Chia server and uh, replacing it with a 600 watt as well as putting a 750 watt into this one. So I'm excited for this project and let's go. All right, so this is our new uh, storage server. It's got the same, it's the same one as the one in there as I already sold you. Uh, and we're just gonna prep this to get ready to put in uh, the hardware. Obviously what we did last time was we took all these out, we drummed this out so it was flat, so that we could put four more drives at the top here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing because that worked out perfectly in the other case. Uh, and then we're going to have to mount uh, these rails to it. And I believe we should be able to use the pre-existing holes, which would be really helpful, but uh, putting it into the rack, we're gonna have to move things around, uh, move a lot of the GPU mining stuff up, and uh, this has to be at the very bottom with the other uh, server. So let's get to cleaning this out, drumming out the rivets, and then we're going to put on the rails. All right, now that we've got it completely flush, actually, yeah, it's flush. Uh, we can put the drives up here. Uh, we're gonna take these out for now and blow out any fragments, any uh, metal fragments, because I have to get under there and make sure that all that is cleaned up. And then we're gonna put on the uh, rails. And then we're gonna start thinking about where we're gonna put it in the rack right above the other one actually. So we're gonna have to move all of those. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to drill out a few holes uh, as they're not perfectly lining up with these rails. Now, I've never used these rails before uh, and they're gonna serve me fine except, like you can see this hole lines up, that's great. This one is askew a little bit, so I'm gonna have to just uh, increase the size of that. And then this one is actually right in the middle. Like I can't, it's almost like right in the middle of this, this portion here. So we're gonna drill out, uh, so widen this one and then kind of drill out the middle portion of this. So we're gonna have three, uh, three holes to secure this and then we're going to have to measure uh i have to put these on here to measure to make sure that it's it'll go in the rack with these lug nuts here so you, i bought these here where you you purchase them you put them in here and then you basically screw screw your your server into into the lug nut uh sorry <laughs> yeah Anyways, that's, that's kind of how it works. This fastens to the rack and then this screws in and as long as these are within the, the spacing, then it should be fine. So it's, it's definitely becoming a pain in the ass with these rails, but again, it's like once you have it done, it's done and you don't have to worry about it. This is a pain in the ass to get them done in the first place. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, so now these all line so we're gonna put in the three screws on this side, do the exact same thing for the other side, and then we're gonna start mounting it into the rack, which is a whole other thing, because we gotta move a lot of stuff in there. A lot. Let's go! All right, we finally got the proper screws in. We got it all lined up, and it's ready to go. So now I have to actually add those two here. 
uh, and then we'll be able to put it in the rack. So stay tuned while we get that all set up. All right, we've got to start removing all these servers because that one's going to go there. Then we're going to put another server here and all these are going to get pushed up. So time to finally remove these guys. God, that took honestly so much work because the rails that I have are like, they're pretty, pretty like archaic. Um, but I was able to get it to actually like fit in right on top of this one here. So they'll be flush. There's no space in between. I mean, they, they seem to be rubbing a little bit actually. Uh, but there's not much I can do about that. That's just gonna have to be the way it is um, But I mean once it's set right you don't you're not messing with these anyway, so that looks pretty good uh, Really cool So this will be my Plex and Chia and then this is gonna be my new Filecoin server and we're gonna install another server up here which will probably end up being my I'm gonna take this Plex out of here and put it into the server here and then just have basically JBOD, JBOD, and then my Plex. So unfortunately I have to work with those rails again for the other server that's gonna go here. And then we're gonna go grab all of those boys and put them back up into the rack. Man, this is a lot of work. gonna have to dust this puppy off Woo! look at that thing that was my first ever for you rack mount server and you're probably wondering why am I bringing this out of retirement when I have a shiny new server that we just installed well, there is some method to my madness, and one of the things is that this does hold quite a few drives. This holds uh, 13, uh, 15 drives natively, and uh, I think 14 drives maybe. Um, anyways, when I decide to expand my Filecoin stuff, I'm going to want to put my Chia and my Plex in another server and then just have a JBOD for all of my Filecoin stuff. So this, whew, this thing is gonna eventually be there. So while we have everything out of the rack, I'm going to put this in at the bottom because it'll have, it'll eventually have some drives in it. But uh, we gotta mount the rails to it as well and get it put in there just for a placeholder and then we can put back the, the mining stuff. But yeah, this thing has seen better days, but we're gonna make her look all right. All right, we got the second chassis in on those brutal server rails, but it's in now. Uh, there's nothing in there. I've got all the stuff pulled out because it's just too heavy. So now what we're gonna do is, because that's gonna be in there, we've got the two J-Bods. Now what's gonna happen is we gotta bring in, uh, we're gonna go heaviest to lightest. So the bottom one is gonna be Cougar, then Maverick, and then Jester, and Cheese uh, Louise. Cougar, Maverick, Jester. Oh my gosh, and another one. All right, this is the last server that needs to go in the rack. So we've got the two J bods, we've got what will be another hard drive server, we've got Jester, we've got Maverick, we've got Cougar, and then to top it all off, at the very top, we're gonna put Viper. And that will also give us, if we get rid of the light, we can actually put another 3U uh, server up here or whatever, or JBOD or what have you. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that up there if my back lets me do that because these are not light. All right, I'll show you guys the finishing touches after this. I am stoked. All right. We finally get to see the final 
product. Shoulda. All right. So here is the final product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And we still have space for a 4U server up here. Uh, so we go from bottom to top. Uh, we've got my Chia slash Plex node, which you saw in the previous server that I kind of blew it up. The 78 terabytes of drive, so the bottom row there is not working. We'll have to deal with that in another one. This is the new server that we just uh, fabricated and installed. Uh, there's nothing in it right now, but uh, comes out perfect. Slides in. Great. So that's going to be for my Filecoin server. Then we move up to here, which is going to eventually be my Chia node and um, my Plex server on this one here. And uh, sorry, the focus here is just ridiculous. Uh, so we'll eventually be moving the, the motherboard and everything from here into here, plus 15 drives into this. And then we'll just use this as a straight JBot again for expansion of the Filecoin server. And then we've got Jester here, which is mining Vertcoin. That's 8 by 30, uh, 5 by 3080s. Uh, then we've got Maverick, which is also mining Vertcoin, which is 8 by 3070s, which is awesome. Uh, then moving up, we've got Jester, or sorry, Cougar, which is currently a 3080 rig that's not on. Uh, I'm going to have to redo everything in there if I want to turn it on. And then we've got, let me turn this off, it's too bright. And then we've got Focus Viper, uh, which is a 3070 rig as well. So these two rigs are going to be consolidated probably into one. Uh, both of them are very big cards, so it's, you can't fit too many in there. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that right now. For now, I'm just going to have these two servers mining Vertcoin, uh, and this one will eventually be an expansion, um, an expansion server. The rails ended up working great, so I'm happy with that. And this is going to be our Filecoin server once we get everything arranged. So, really happy with the turnout, how it turned out. Wow, look at all those servers. Oh man. And we still have room for a 4U server up here. Sorry about the focus, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right, so stick around. The next video, I'm going to show you how I built Maverick. I redid Maverick completely, so now it has eight 3070s in it, and I'll show you guys kind of what I'm doing with those and what my plans are. And then we're going to get to fixing up this Filecoin server with that motherboard and that GPU and a whole bunch of NVMEs and RAM and then eventually piling in drives to it. So stick around guys, please subscribe, let me know what you think. I appreciate all the comments and yeah, thanks again.